Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review thing. This is not a diecast. This is actually, uh, as you can see, my first mini helmet. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here how these are packaged. We're doing a full product review, um, and then I'll have I'll do more helmet reviews in the future, I think. Not as many as my cars, obviously, but I'll do some reviews um, on these and um, stuff like that. So we'll start here. These are made by Brand Art is the name. Um, they've got their, their details on this side of the box. So it's the Hooters number nine helmet from 2019. They either check this box for full-size helmet or check the mini box for the mini helmet. Obviously, this big is probably a mini helmet, just on size. Um, and then they have a whole bunch of the, um, you know, the emblems and kind of the different bases. Basically, it's licensing is all the rest of that is. So a uh, couple little pictures of the helmet up top there. And then you got Hooters and the number nine and stuff like that. So um, it is a white box all the way around with a window on one side to see the helmet you're getting. And then it's white, 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 white. And then it is one tab here and it pops open on the top. So you get that. I'll open that box up. It does come with a protective layer of foam to go between the helmet and the top of the box. Make sure you don't get your helmet scratched before you get a chance to get it to your house. So I'll slide that box off to the side. Peel the foam, no, the film. We peeled the film off the visor, and here we are. So let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. All right, straighten out my camera. Give a good tip. There we go. So. These helmets are um, about five inches by five inches. Um, you can see here, we've got buckles. We've got a helmet strap here. Otherwise, it is pretty much just basic padding and foam in here. Nothing crazy. It's not a real helmet, obviously. Um, but yeah, there is there is foam and stuff in here. So, you know, to put your fist in there, it does feel like a legit helmet for your hand. Um, uh, let's see here. So that's, that's the interior of the helmet. So it is legitimate interior-ish. For this model of a helmet. Uh, on the rear here, we've got Hooters, the Chase Elliott logo, 2019, Hendrick and GM there. Hooters and Chase Elliott there on the side. These are the little, they're screws, but then they can also usually take those out and put the clips in for the Hans device here to hold the helmet. We've got R-Star designs um, on the front there. Look at the front of the helmet, we've got the Chevy bow tie, we've got Chase Elliott up there on the banner of the helmet, and then the Hooters owl up here, number nine way up here on the top with the little Chase Elliott emblems in there, and then the, the hose for the air in there. Um, you can see we got the white, the brown, and the orange, a little bit of gold trim for the uh, for the Hooters helmet here. Um, pretty good looking. Um, it does have a, uh, not ghost, I want to say ghost, but it's actually just a black, not black tint, um, smoke, smoke tint is what they call it. Um, and then to pop the visor open, all you do is pull on this tab, and it does pop it open. Um, basically, why it, you have to pull the tab is so that it goes around that little notch. Um, if you don't pull the tab, it won't pull the visor out and let you lift on it. So that's the only reason you really have to do that. But there you can see on uh, the interior here. Um, there you can see some of the orange. We've got it there. And then we've got, uh, obviously, Chase Elliott on the, on the uh, top of the visor there with the number nine on each side. Um, it's a... It's a, it's a weird visor. You can see it's not straight all the way across. It does have some indentations. Um, all of them have that that I've gotten or that I've seen. I know there are some older ones that don't have that. Um, but overall, just some really neat art and paint to these. They're very, very detailed in terms of the paint quality and some of the stuff like that. I mean, you've got like a metallic brown. Uh, the white is gloss. The gold has some sparkling to it. Definitely the brown is, is unique. The, the orange is gloss, you know, just kind of some of that stuff. But again, overall, it's a very, very neat looking helmet. These are definitely a cool, cool addition to add to any collection, uh, especially if you only collect for one driver. So then you only get so many helmets. So um, I will say the bonus to the helmets is usually they only come out with a um, couple helmets a year per driver. And that's if it's a popular driver. Some drivers don't even have them. Um, Chase Elliott, I think, has three Napa Hooters and Mountain Dew. So between those three helmets, you know, he releases like 10 die casts a year, easy, and that's a low number. So, you know, it is cheaper to probably just collect helmets from that standpoint. Um, but obviously it's a helmet, not a car. So, you know, there's there's different preferences to everything, but um, they're definitely unique. I, I have never gotten one of these. Um, Plan B was running a, a race, what does it call it? Race deprivation or 
what was it? Race, race with draw sale last weekend. So I went ahead and picked up a pair of these helmets that were at 30 bucks a piece, which I thought was a great deal. Uh, as I said, very, very cool helmets. Um, this one's probably going to stay on the shelf on the hoot on the Chase Elliott collection. Um, I also picked up one other one, uh, Ryan Blaney helmet from 2017 that I'm going to do a review on as well. So, uh, let me know your thoughts on these helmets from brand art. Um, I don't know where you can get them all. Honestly. Um, I've seen them online at a few different sites, but nowhere that I'm, uh, that I can speak for, for sure. Besides, obviously I got these from plan B sales. So, um, let me know your thoughts on them down in the comments, what uh, helmets you've got. Um, I'm always interested to see some of the older helmets that are out there because I, I just started taking a look at these things and kind of looking at what they are. So, um, again, thanks for watching, um, and we'll see you in the next DieCast Review.